since their debut in 2000, Linkin Park has sold millions of records and toured non-stop around the world. So it's no surprise in 2004 when the band wanted to take a bit of a break. Well, now the band is back with a renewed sense of purpose and a brand new album called Minutes to Midnight. So we caught up with the band in L.A. to talk to them about working with producer Rick Rubin and why this brand new album is such a welcome departure for the band. And apparently they give you guys quite a big budget, 50 million or something for the album. <laughs> Is that is that true? Is that true? I love that. I love that shit, dude. It's, yeah, dude, they give us a billion dollars, dude. It's a billion. Crazy. It's in your pocket right now. Look at it. But you got the whole world essentially waiting for your album to drop. And I'm wondering, is that a little make you guys a little bit nervous at all? Yeah, I'm a little anxious to see how people are going to react to it because it's definitely different than what we've done in the past. When we do it, we're challenging ourselves to make something really unique and different and that doesn't just necessarily fit in with what's going on out there. Like when we came out with, with Hybrid Theory and Meteor, a lot of people called it rap rock, they called it new metal and all those things. And we never felt like we fit in with any of that anyway. What was it like uh, co-producing the album working with Rick? He's just a legend, you know. Rick is um, he's a really unique individual with very unique talents and uh, he's this very like special guy you know there, there's there's no no one else like Rick what makes him so good at what he does I think Rick is has a tremendous talent in being able to pull the best out of the performer out of the artist you crazy for this one Rick he doesn't like force you in a direction or, or like try and force feed you ideas at all. The thing about Rick that I think that a lot of us appreciate is that he's not heavy handed with the way he guides a band and he leaves a lot in the hands of the artists themselves to like figure out the solutions to their problem. He doesn't need his name up in lights, he just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic. What is it about the dynamic of the band that allows yourself to do solo projects without affected chemistry of what you guys do? After I did the Four Minor project, one thing that was really nice is that I got back to kind of my roots in what I, what I, how, the way I started in music. Like, I kind of got back in touch with this thing about having fun doing it, you know? Just enjoying the sound of the music you're making and weird making weird noises. And I brought that with me in, in with the rest of the guys. And getting back together, I think it felt real good because, you know, when you get that kind of space and you get that kind of like perspective on things, you get to really appreciate what's, what's happened and where you are. But the awards and all those the record sales and all that stuff is really great. But at the end of the day, what we really like to do is get together as a band and write some good music, play some shows. You know, that's where really where we enjoy the whole thing the most.